What's up dudes, welcome back to Distracted Dude. Today I'm playing some Ajani's uh, Noctel Cry. Uh, and uh, today we're just going to be playing lots of cats. And uh, yeah, it's um, black, er, red and white commander, but we're mostly focusing on the white aspect. Uh, I do have some red cards in here that like triple the damage and double the damage and stuff, but uh, those are like late game. Um, but uh, yeah, for this, let's uh, just start by summoning a Johnny, and he comes out and creates a 2 1 token. Um, I could have gotten a lot Pride out, that probably would have been a good one too, but uh. It's just a 1-1, one, one, so it looks like it would have been able to be blocked by the 2-2 two, two that he just summoned anyways. Um, so, uh, I'll attack with my 2-1. And it goes through. They're 22 now. And then uh, they play land, and it gives a plus 1 counter to their creature. And it looks like they are... Uh, uh, was that heisting a card? Or not heisting, uh, I forgot what that mechanic was called. I couldn't read it in time either. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, it's okay. He did something with that card. I think it's the one where it costs zero. Plot, plot, that's what it's called. Um, anyways, uh, I attack off and, um, yeah, uh, they're at 18, I'm at 23. And I just played an Urza's Incubator to make all cats uh, cheaper. But I don't have any more cats in my hand, so I guess it's not really going to help out right here. But let's see. Well, if that one's a cat, I'm not paying the two. I'm smothering tithe now. And then uh, I'm going to play the Archie on the Sun's Grace. And let's get or end the turn. They're playing Jot of the Unifier. And uh, he comes out and gets a plus one counter. And they get another plus one counter because they played a land. And, um, I want to concede right now, but let's just go with it. Let's see what I can do. Um, let's go with this so I can get more card draw. Um, he draws me cards at the end of the turn. And if they box that, creature I could have flipped my commander but they didn't so let's see what they do I've still got some blockers so they shouldn't want to attack until um well okay now they got a flyer Rakdos is a flyer and they've also just got an indestructible and another 2-2 two -two. Um, and I th and that's a little flyer too. Um, uh, okay, so I can block the flyer though. Okay, and I will not sac. Actually, I'll sacrifice these two, and then flip a Johnny. Okay, I will not pay the two. For Smothering Tide. And then I'll uh, play Devourer of Faith. And, uh... I'll play, uh, or I'll use my Planeswalker's ability to give all my cats a plus one counter. And then... 
draw a card at the end of my turn. And uh, yeah, back to my opponent's turn. I got 17 and my 26. I think it's going well so far. But uh, I only have one blocker. They do have trample on that 11 11. It's not looking too good. Played a card. I, I can't see what it did quick enough. Um, but uh, <clears throat> then they're playing a few different cards because uh, a Jota, he basically cascades out another card out of your deck. And yeah, they got a bunch going on here. Oh, and they doubled their. He's gonna double their power at. Uh, at the um, combat phase, uh -oh. they're attacking with all. So I'm gonna block with what I can. Okay, so I'm blocking what I can. And I'm down to three health. Because of the way the order of operations work with lifelink. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, so. I'm not going to pay the two. I'm going to. Minus for a Johnny. And they're going to sacrifice everything except one or one of each type of thing other than battle. So, yep, yep, yep. They gotta basically sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, and a uh, planeswalker all the way down to one. And then I'll play this card. Which uh, will exile their Jota. And then I'll play another Plains. And well, I could do that for the card draw. Yeah, let's do it. So I'll attack all. Now they're down to 10. And I'm at 3 still. I'm surprised I survived that. I would have said good game in real life and just said you won. I don't get how uh, I would have survived that, but okay. Okay, so I play Jordan again, and then my turn. Then I'll decline, and then I'll play uh, this land, and then there's Emissary, and I'll use the Defiler Vigor to pay two life to, uh, so that I can pay for it. And uh, then, no, or, yeah, I'll attack with both of these. Because they can't block, technically. Because I gave myself protection from creatures with Sarah's Emissary. Um, no matter what they do until they get rid of Sarah's Emissary, I can just uh, do direct damage with my creature. So, it's kind of a good finisher for this deck, in my opinion. Uh, Okay, then my opponent plays Lyra Dawn there, and they're getting out another card. It's Planeswalker this time, I win. And, uh, yeah, um, 
Let's see what we can do about that. They're attacking again. So they're attacking my planeswalker. I'll block. Okay, there we go. And, uh, yeah, they give up? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they just, uh, probably upset about, uh, him not doing damage and not being able to do anything to my creature. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I usually am too. Now. But, uh, hey, a finisher is a finisher, right? Anyways. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you dudes later. Please subscribe if you liked it.